Guys, if you're thinking of buying a foot switch for your Spark, which one should you get? Well, I've got the X Sonic in here. I'm going to take a look at it. So, in this video, we're going to unbox the X Sonic. We're going to take a look at the uh, the build quality of the of the pedal. Um, we're going to see then how easy it is to connect to the Spark. And from there, we'll see how easy it is to use and set up. Let's unbox it and see what we get in the box. So at the end of the video, I had a, I'm going to tell you about an issue I had with this, but uh, I don't want to say anything negative yet before we open it. Let's just um, go uh, and look at it in a positive light first. we get in the box and we get another box called the air step this, oh, this box takes up ah oh, yeah there we go so it says special edition ah oh, yeah the spark edition look at this so first impressions feels pretty heavy. I think it's um, feels cold. I think it's made of metal. It's not plastic. There you go. And it's the uh, Exonic. So it's got a weird antenna that's loose on the back. It's got that on, power on. Oh, well we have power. So it is charged. And a function switch. So I think we can choose different functions for this. Anyway, first impressions, what's in the box? Well, the pedal. Charge cable. The user manual, but he's got a thing so that you have to do that online. Um, Facebook community, I've already joined the uh, Exonic users group. More QR codes for instructions and stickers. They must be to label each button to whatever you want to do. The Exonic has five buttons, Bark one has four buttons. How easy is it to set up? Let's try that next. Okay, so without reading any instructions, could we just turn this on and turn the amp on? It's connected. I've not read the instructions, I've not done anything. So we're on button. <laughs> I love it. it. These did exactly the same thing. So button number one is number one, two, three, four. Wow. And that's without setting anything up. It just works right out of the box. That is, yeah, simple. What does that one do? Oh, that one, oh. I think, I think that, could be I could use that as a boost okay so I've got the app connected <clears throat> through the Bluetooth and I've got the air step it won't connect while the apps connected to get the pedal to talk to the iPad you have to download the air step update so let's try that so I've chosen spark 1.3 for the update so it says press the D button Turn it on, this comes on, then we go to select model, and then we have the air step, select the air step, choose, firmware v13, update, now it's updating. Update successful, exit. Okay, let's try it again. <coughs> So now you have to connect this <coughs> to the spark and then 
connect to, to the app. Can we connect the app? Fail to connect. Retry. Oh, it's connected. It's all okay. I'm just going to turn you guys off then, but it's connected. So, if I press the second one, yes! And the third one, yes! And the fourth one, yes! Yes! And then what does this do? <laughs> What's the end button do? Doesn't do anything. I was hoping that would like give me a boost or a boost switch. It's not highlighting anything for me though. <laughs> probably could if I watch some more videos or look at the instructions but Amazon Canada. The warehouse in Canada didn't have it so I had to get it from China. However, um, it's Will, that's the other guitarist. What's going on? We're playing tomorrow, are you ready? No, I'm not ready! <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready Will. See you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I had to get it. He had to come from China but they said they'd pay any import fees or anything because it was their fault that they didn't have it in stock. Um, so it took a bit longer. I was supposed to get it in like two or three days and it took three weeks um, But you know It's here. It's working. It's band now tomorrow. So I'll go and try it. Okay, so that's it That's my look at the air step smart spark smart It works fine. It works out of the box. I think that was working out of the box. I think it had um, software 1.3 on it now software 1.4 is a um, that's the that that's the looper that you can put in it but then you have to plug all sorts of cables in I have a looper pedal anyway and other amps you can plug that so I'm not bothered by that really I just want this for for in the studio you know playing live with the guys so hopefully it's gonna work tomorrow night and uh, if you're interested in knowing how it goes just drop me a comment if you're interested in the uh, the Gato uh, Wi-Fi, these are 2.4 gig um, wireless connectors, I'll uh, stick a video up here somewhere, um, but other than that, see you next time guys. You're my favourite, and you are too, yes, you're my favourites, my babies, yes, you just did an app. Players.